friends, it's Sydney from Sid Plants It Out. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to be planning in my big dashboard happy planner that I use as a as my catch-all. And we're going to be using um, the new Disney Oasis line. I have been dying to use this. I bought this book first because I was like, oh, I want the quotes and everything. And then I was like, oh, there's not a whole lot of decorative stuff in here. So then I was like, well, I need the... Um, Oasis Adventure icons, but it took literally forever for them to get here. It's been like a week and a half and I'm just impatient, but yeah, it was taking so long. I felt like, and then I also, I'm going to bring in possibly some of this washi. Um, I'll show you my idea here in a minute. And then I also, I might, I might bring in these leaves from Fun Florals, but I'm not 100% sure on that one yet. So let's go ahead and take the pages off the disc. So we're going to be planning for July 26th through August 1st. So I'm going to go ahead and take these off the discs. Huh. Okay. Put my planner to the side here. Okay. So what I want to do to start is, so I already started kind of like playing around with this and I pulled this sticker off already. And the reason that I pulled it off and put it on wax paper is because I was trying to decide if I could, um, take some of these bigger buildings and like put it over it and like cover up those Mickey's and Minnie's so that I could like make it like give it more dimension and depth. Cause I want to put this down here, but I feel like it's so little that I wanted to give it like some more dimension. So I wanted to put in some of the big buildings too, so that it would be, you know, more, yeah, it would be more interesting. I was going to say, give it more dimension again for like the fourth time. So <laughs> what I figured out is that it will work. Um, I just have to pick the buildings that I want to use and where I want to use them. So I kind of want to put this purplish building, but I want it to be on this side because there's two like purple buildings here. So I want to do that one. And then, um, there was another one. Ah. And then I think this blue one, and then I do want one in the middle middle. So maybe that one, I just don't want to like cover up too much of the building, but I want to be able to like cover up the Mickey's that are back there. I realize now they're all Mickey's that I have picked, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and pull this and this one. I don't always use, ah, I ripped it. It's fine. It's just the Mickey that I'm going to cover up anyway, but, um, I don't always use wax paper, but sometimes when I'm doing like something a little bit more intricate, I will just to try to like figure it out. Um, and then I also, so what I want to start with though, is I want to start by putting one of these down here to be like a base because I feel like I don't want it just like sitting on there. Like I want something down there. And since this is like, you know, Disney Oasis, it's like they're in, you know, they're in like somewhere tropical or whatever, which is why I was kind of thinking those leaves, but I want it to be kind of like sand almost. What I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to layer these both, like put both of them down there. I just don't know. Do I want the, I think I'm going to put the darker one down first and then put the lighter one down. So let's go ahead and just put this all the way across the bottom here. And I think I am just going to go all the way over. Well, maybe not. Maybe I will just end it here. I don't know. We'll just put it all the way over for right now. And then if I decide I don't like it, I can always, it's washi tape. It comes up really easily. So I can always take that off if I change my mind. One thing, another thing that I like about having wax paper is that there's just like somewhere really easy to put down your scraps. I don't know why I'm doing this like this. I'm making this as difficult as possible, I think. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we have that one down. Now I think I'm gonna put this other one on top of it. I haven't used this one yet, but I just feel like these kind of look like sand or like, um, 
like something like that, you know, like sand or like dirt or like just something that like makes me think tropical, I guess. Okay, I'm just gonna use my exacto over here and hope that I don't cut my desk, which is very, very possible. Ah, or myself, goodness, okay. And then I'll just snip this off over here. That was not straight. What the heck? I don't know. I think it just laid down weird because the punch is there. Okay, there. I was like, where did that scribe go? Okay, so now I'm going to try to figure out where I'm going to put this. Like, I think I'm just going to put it right here. Okay, yeah, I'm glad I put that all the way to the edge because this is going to go all the way to the edge. So I want to put that, like, right there. So I just have to figure out where I'm going to put these buildings in proportion to this. Yikes. Okay. So I want this blue one on the end. I might not even be able to fit all three of these actually now that I'm thinking about it. Like now that I'm looking at it on the paper because this goes all the way across. So I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I'm going to try it anyway. So if I put this one behind this, all right, I'm just going to put this one down, right? Well, let's see, how tall is this going to be? Okay, so it's going to go halfway between these punches. So let's put this at the bottom of this punch. No, halfway between the punches. So it needs to go like here, I think. We'll just put that down lightly for a second. Yeah, that'll cover that up. I think this is crooked though. Is it? Maybe. I think it's slightly crooked, so we're just gonna try again. Okay, so we'll put that one there, and then, okay, so that'll cover up Mickey. And then I'm gonna put this one in the middle. And since I already ripped this and kind of ripped Mickey off right there, I might as well just cut him off the edge here. Okay, cool. I guess I could have done that with all of them, but whatever. So, okay. Let's put this one. Sorry, I got a phone call and I was trying to make sure that it didn't stop recording or anything. Um, let's put it, actually, I think I want to put this one over here. Maybe. Sorry, I'm being very indecisive now because I just can't. Hmm. Yeah, let's put this one in the middle. I know that there's a blue building there and there, but I feel like that one will look better there. And then this one will look better on the end. So... I'm gonna have to white out that focus and then I'm just gonna put this like right under that, I think. Yeah, so I'm gonna get my Tombow correction tape. White that out. And then I'm just gonna put this down right there. Okay, well, Oh no, that's the window. Okay. I was like, oh, part of Mickey's sticking out, but it's not. It's the window of the building. So that will work just fine. Okay. And then I'm going to put this one in the middle. Hmm. Like right here. I just think that this will make it look a little bit more interesting than just having um, just this little scene in front. Okay, so you're going to see part of Mickey there, but I don't think you're really going to know that that's what it is. I guess I could move it over just a touch and then it'll be behind that building. So let's do that. Hopefully I can get this off without completely ruining anything here. Oh yeah, they came off really nicely. I forgot that I had it on wax paper. <laughs> I was like, wow, that was really easy. Yeah, that's what happens when you use wax paper. One of the perks of wax paper for sure. Okay, cool. I think that looks good. I think also 
I'm gonna put in um, some of these trees, yeah. I'm gonna stick a couple of these in there, these big ones, um, just because I think that'll be more interesting that way. It'll add to the dimension that I'm trying to create here, like the little scene. So we're gonna put this one here. This one over here. Oh, this is gonna be so cute, you guys. I love, I love this sticker book, like these sticker books and this line. Oh no, we ripped it. Um, I just think that this is so stinking cute, and this spread is probably gonna be one of my new favorite spreads that I've ever made, I'm not gonna lie, because I'm obsessed with this. Also, sorry for the wax paper noise. I know it's not like the best noise ever, but. Okay, I think right about there. Oh my God, you guys, that scene is so freaking cute. I'm obsessed. Okay, well, I could be done now, literally. Like, that is just so cute, I, I could actually be done. But I'm not going to be because, you know, I need to make this functional as well. Although, like, you know, I could make it functional just the way that it is, but it wouldn't be as much fun. Yikes, that had a moment. Okay, so I'm just gonna white out all of these headings. And then I'm gonna go into this other sticker book really quick. And I don't actually think that I'm gonna bring in those leaves from Fun Florals now that I'm looking at it, because I don't think that it's going to be exactly what I want. Okay, I wanna get a quote in here. I'm trying to think, for some reason I can't think, hold on, nope, that's the wrong page. <laughs> I'm trying to, for some reason, I can't remember what I put over there. Oh, yeah, yikes, okay. <sighs> wow, it's like I've never decorated or used this in my life. I'm just so excited about how cute this is. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Follow your heart, plan your dreams. Um, hmm. Okay, well, I don't know which one of those I want yet. So let's go ahead. I know I want either a long box or a um, square, which I don't think there's any like double boxes in this book. Um, no, there's not. Okay, so yikes. Okay, let's grab one of these. Um, I don't want to use this one because it, I already have like Mickey and Minnie down here on this side. Um, I feel like these are almost too long. I think I'm going to have to pull this up and put it underneath there maybe, but we're going to use it anyway. These are obscenely long. Not, I mean, and that's not a bad thing. I'm sure in like a vertical, it would cover like the entire sidebar, which is amazing in my opinion. Oh no, that's not where I wanted it. Stop. All right. Well, whatever. It's good enough. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to have to either cover this or cover the quote. Hmm. Or I could just cut this part off. I think I'm going to do that. So since I already stuck it down, I'm just going to use my X-Acto and I'm just going to cut this quote off of here. And then I can either use it somewhere else or in a different spread entirely. Haha! -ha. Perfect! Now I have a cute little box. I could just take this and put this right up here with this. I might do that. I'm just going to stick this ah, on my wax paper. That way I remember it because if I put it back in the book, I'm going to forget it. I already know. I already know. Okay. Um, let's see. I want to add a couple. Okay. So I need, I want a header box here and a header box here and one up here. So there are 
not those. Okay, so there are these cute little boxes with the Mickey heads on them. So let's grab a couple of those. Um, what colors do I want? I think I like this one. And I like this mustard one. And I want maroon or pink. Let's go pink. Okay. So put that to the side for a second. I'm going to put this one right here. And really this is just to like cover these um, whiteout spots because I know what all of these are for. I use this section for to do. I use this section for habits. That is crooked. Um, and then I use the other section. I've used it for a couple different things, but this week I used it like I'm using it for like spending. I saw that in, I think it was like an old plan with Elise dashboard video that I was watching. And she was just like, Hey, there's a bunch of different ways you could use this section. And spending was one of the ones that she said. And I was like, that's genius because I don't necessarily want an entire other planner for my spending, but I definitely should be keeping track of it better. So I was like, that is brilliant. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think, do I have any plans this week? I don't really think so, actually. So I think we're just going to throw some random boxes in and go from there. Um, yeah, I do still want to find a quote, though. So let's go with, I feel like it needs to be Hmm. I think I'm going to switch these because I kind of want to use a pink like quote because I have this blue box here. But if there's a pink one right there, I know it's really silly, but it's going to bother me. I think it's not going to look like as put together, I guess, as like balanced. I feel like, cause I want to bring, yeah, I just, that's how I, yeah, that's how my brain works. I feel like it needs to be like more spread out. Because if I put all the pink right next to each other, then what was the point of that? I made that one way too long now. I got a little white out happy. My white out ran away. Okay, there we go. Actually, I covered it, so it's fine. Okay, so a pink quote. Um, I think I want to go with never stop dreaming. I feel like that is a good quote and I feel like it's so cute with this, ah, not there, with this, um, little scene because this scene is like, this could literally be out of a dream. It's so stinking cute. Okay. I do need to put something in there because that empty space is going to drive me crazy but I don't know what it's going to be yet. So let's go ahead and go to this side. And I want to bring in, I think some of these potted plants because I think they're adorable, but also maybe just some of, hmm, some of this other stuff. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I want this. <laughs> Decision made, we're using this one because it's adorable. And I think I'm just gonna put it over here on Sunday. Yikes. I don't know what is on my page. I don't know, but I'm going to put this over here and I'm trying to decide, do I want to put washi under it or not? Cause I definitely need to bring some of this washi over to this side, but I don't know if I want it to go underneath these cause this is a clear sticker. So if I put it over the washi, the washi is going to show through and I don't know if I want that. So maybe not. Maybe we'll just put this over here as I throw my pages. Holy, holy moly. Okay. Um, let's put that there. That's adorable. I'm obsessed with that. Okay. And then let's just take some washi and put it in some places. I'm going to rip the end and I'm just going to put it I'm going to put it over this line. 
That's not straight. How is that possible? This has a grid on it. This should be easy to put down straight. Dear Lord. Okay. That's better. I don't know. Part of me feels like I should bring it all the way to the edge because I brought this all the way to the edge. But I don't know. Mm, I guess we just, we'll start with it. Like I said, washi is really easy to pull up. So if I don't like it all the way to the edge, I can always pull it off. Okay, and then I'm just going to layer just like a smaller section of this on top. Like I'm going to start it here. Okay, and I think I'm going to do this in one more place over here as well. I don't know if I want it to be Wednesday or Monday. I feel like it needs to be Wednesday. But is that too close? If I put it on Wednesday, then it's like right on top of it. So maybe I need to put it on Monday instead. And then we'll put like some plants in there. That could be cute. Let's do that. Okay. Now I have to rip this the other way, which for some reason I really struggle ripping this the other way. Okay. That's not bad. It's a little bit more severe of a rip than the other side, but that's okay. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to put this down here. I'm going to just use my scissors this time since it's on the right. It's a little bit easier that way. And then we'll put this down as well. I love this new Disney line. I know a lot, I, I, I've seen, not a lot of people, but a few people who are like, when are they going to stop with the Disney stuff? We have so much Disney stuff, but you guys, Disney is just so great. Also, Happy Planner is based in California. So they're literally like next to Disneyland. Why would they not do Disney stuff just like all the time? Okay. And I really like the colors of this. Like it's not classic Mickey and Minnie colors like at all. And I love it. Like these, like this dark, like purplish color and this bright blue, like they're just, this is just so pretty. Okay. This is really, really bugging me. I'm sorry. This is like not straight at all. There we go. Okay. Sorry. I just like kept staring at that and it was driving me crazy. Okay. Let's bring in a couple more plants maybe. Or maybe like another building with Mickey and Minnie on it. Ooh, that one's cute. See, this is like what I was trying to create over here, more or less. That's hilarious. I actually find that very funny because <laughs> I didn't even notice that. That's that's great. Okay. <laughs> I definitely need something else with Mickey and Minnie. Like I definitely need Mickey and Minnie over here as well. But I feel like all of these are really big. So, okay, let's put in some of these trees over here. Wait, hold on. Is this Mickey and Minnie and the trees? Yes, this is what I want. It might be kind of big though, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Hmm. It's going to take up a lot of room, but if I just kind of put it in the middle here. Ooh, that's crooked. I was trying to like make their feet line up with that line, but I think I just need to line the trees up. Ah! Oh gracious. This is a very sticky sticker. Oh no! I did so well until the end and then I ripped it. That's sad. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll just pretend that that did not happen. Yeah, we're just going to pretend that didn't happen. Okay. <laughs> so there's that. So I have Mickey and Minnie on both sides. I have the trees on both sides. I have these cute little plants. Maybe I'll put some plants over here and maybe also this from the bottom of there, like maybe up here and then put in a couple of these potted plants. 
Oh, I could have used just like the really little Mickey and Minis. And then put the palm trees. Oh well. Next time. Like there are so many things that you could do with this. It's absolutely crazy. Okay, let's put this one and this one and this one. Oop, I kind of ripped that. I am having not great luck with these plants today. Okay, I'm gonna put that like that because I kind of like it off center like that. And because it's like that, I'm gonna stick one of these trees up here too just to like fill in some of that space. Mm. Ah, I have stickers all over me. Why do I do this? I literally have wax paper sitting right here and I'm holding 17 stickers. The world may never know. Okay, let's just cut off. Well, I guess it's not too bad actually. You can still read it. So I'm just gonna live with it. It's not bad actually. Wow, I really am just having not great luck with these stickers today. Okay, so let's do mini right here. Actually, let's put this one down first because I want it to be behind them, I think. But I do want mini over here. And then we'll put Mickey right here. Wow, that Mickey is a lot bigger than the mini, but that's okay. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Let's go to the other book that has the boxes in it. And let's put some boxes over there. Um. <laughs> also, this book is really cool. It has like a lot of like really useful stuff like appointment, meeting, day off, errands, date night, to do, party, celebrate, birthday. Like that's pretty cool. Okay. Oh look, that sticker again. That's funny. Okay. I'm going to grab a couple of these, I think. Hmm. The only thing is that they all have Mickey or Minnie on them, which is not ideal, but we can use like some of these to cover them, I guess. I guess, cause I don't wanna like overload it with Mickey and Minnie. Like it's obviously a Mickey and Minnie spread, but okay. These are really cute, but I don't know how you would use them. Like my brain can't function those boxes. I don't know why. Ah, all right. Um. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I can't wait to use this in a vertical spread because I think it'll be so cute in a vertical spread as well. Okay, so this just has like a little plant. So let's use this. Also, I really like this color. It is bright. Okay, let's stick this one here and then we'll put one of these little today stickers to cover that notch since this is a monthly box. That's not straight, but I'm gonna ignore it. And then a blue, or this is not blue, this is pink, but I was going to say I need a blue also. So this is also like sectioned into Mickey and Minnie, just like the rest of the books are. So now I need to go to the Mickey boxes so I can find a blue one. Ah, oh, it has Mickey on it. Oh no. All right, well, I guess we're just gonna have to roll with that one because I need a blue box because I only have like one blue. So we'll put this here. And then I think I'm gonna put this one up here. And part of me wants to cover Mickey and this notch. So maybe there's a way. Maybe, ah! I just hit my ring light and it went flying, sorry. <laughs> um, what if we grab another like potted plant? Hmm, like maybe this cactus. That'll cover that whole thing. And I love cacti. Oh, it won't cover the whole thing. Hmm, I could white it out, 
but do I want to? No. Also, I think that that looks kind of silly. So actually, we're just going to leave Mickey there. That's fine. I do want to cover that notch though. So let's grab another one of these today stickers. Let's do this color to bring some of this over to this side. Okay. That's cute. All right. It's looking a little blank, like right here. I think that that spot needs something else, but I don't know what. Hmm. Something like tall, I feel like needs to go there. Maybe. Hmm. These are so cute. Like this is a very, very functional book, even though it's also like super decorative like very, very functional. Hmm. Maybe because we have Mickey over here, we can put Minnie up here. Hmm. 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 Let's go back to this one really quick. Oh, those are so cute too. Oh my goodness. This book is just so adorable. I can't handle it. Maybe we'll just put like this building because this is tall. So I think if I put it here, let's try. Because I don't usually fill up this entire to-do list. Do I want the building on the line or do I want Minnie's feet on the line? I think I'm gonna put the building on that bottom line, like on this bottom line and then Minnie on that one. That's so cute. I love it. I think that it needs washi tape though. Like I think, cause there's washi here and here and here and there's none over here. So let's peel up the bottom of this and then we'll just put a little bit of washi under that. And I think I'm going to overlap it like more than I did on the other ones. Wow. That was really hard to get apart. And I just want this one to go like part of the way. Oh, that's so cute. And I think that that actually was really good. Like, I think that that helped bring the washi, like make it look more cohesive. Pretty sure I cut the page there, but that's fine. Okay, anything else? I think I think I might be done, honestly. I guess the only other thing, were there bullet points in here? I don't think there are. If there were, I would use some, but I don't think there are bullet points in here. Now there's just checklists, which I'm not a huge fan of. And I think, also, I think the checklists are kind of hard to use in the dashboard because they don't like line up with the lines perfectly. So yeah, no, no checklists or no, yikes, no bullets, but that's fine. Um, I love this spread. This box is crooked, I think. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I am in love with this spread. I think this spread is absolutely so cute. Um, let me fill in my little headings here really quick. So this is spending and this is habits. And I'm not putting habit trackers in mostly because I feel like it's so hard to find habit trackers in the colors that you want, like literally ever. But I just use um, those checklist stencils that have the um, circles and squares on them or even I'll just draw them in. Like I don't even care that much if they're perfect, but that's how I usually do it. I just don't, I don't bother with ah, trying to track down habit trackers. Um, because yeah, I just don't feel the need. Um, I'm going to punch this really quick and then we can get it on the discs. Cause if I don't punch it, it's not going to go on the discs. 
Okay, I'm just gonna line this up. Maybe, hello? Okay, I think that's right. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, cool. Oh, it's so cute, you guys, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Oh, I forgot one thing. This I use for gratitude. Okay, this is so stinking cute. Let's put this on the disc really quick and then we will be done. Oh my God, it's adorable. Um, if you guys haven't bought these Disney Oasis books yet, you definitely need to. Also, this washi tape, I don't know if I mentioned, this is from the washi tape shop. All of their washi tape is amazing, and I'm obsessed with it. And yeah, that's going to be it for me, you guys. Um, I hope you liked this spread and this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!